Am I like the meanest host you've had, no, like no, guest no. you've had or something? No, I mean... Who was meaner than me? No one. You're, you're, you're quite a lovable, kind, gentle teddy bear. <coughs> but I like, uh, I like your rants, though. Yeah? I remember that thing. I remember this thing you did about punching, punching in the face. Oh, you, you remember Ten that things. one? I don't remember exactly what it was, but what was it? That was, that was old, but that was uh, old reasons, but gold. Reasons to get punched in the face. Yeah, it was the top 10 reasons to get <laughs> punched in the face if you're a Muslim speaker. Yeah. And you just start off with number 10 and then go all the way to number 1. So that's so is, are you into MMA and stuff? Because that's, that's what a lot of people are now talking about, punching in the face. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, again, with anything you yeah. put out there, some people understood that <laughs> I'm not really talking about hitting in the face. <laughs> it's, and then, it's a layered joke. Yeah. And then some speakers were... You know, refuting yeah. that, didn't it? Is it halal or haram to punch someone in the face? <laughs> like, like for okay. you, it might be mustahab. It's like, okay, 11. <laughs> exactly, right? It's like mustahab for you. So what were they? Oh, Can I don't remember them off the top of my head, but, but they were all legitimate. Like one of them, for example, Asking is... Asking for a cappuccino before we start. Yeah, like... Uh, <laughs> I didn't ask for it. I'm this. joking, it was, it was me. Your I, idea. I asked for it. <laughs> one of them was, for example... Um, asking money for a Friday khutbah, you know. You're gonna pray anyway. <laughs> you gotta pray anyways, <laughs> and 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 I said, you know, unless you have a hadith the ummah has never heard of, you don't mm-hmm. deserve five thousand dollars for a khutbah. This was a true story. Whoa, five thousand dollars for like if you I did pay it, Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask someone for a khutbah and they ask for five thousand dollars, he must have a hadith the ummah doesn't mm-hmm. know about. Number two, I said, if you do have a hadith the ummah doesn't know about, make your way to the nearest. Piff station, puff, get punched in the face immediately <laughs> because why? Why do you have a hadith that Umar never heard of? So I thought that was reasonable. Yeah, the Juma, look, I said, okay, if if they give you a little bit for gas, what have you, you know, I'm I'm gonna drive forty five minutes one way. Up. Yeah, okay, and they give you gas money, and even then, I personally, taban, if someone hands me a twenty dollar bill here, get some gas, I'm be like, oh, excuse me, zakallah khair, you know, twenty bucks and stuff. And they're like, can you give me ten change? <laughs> It happens, Allah. Yeah. It happens. One time a brother came to me after the after my lecture and what have you. And I was out of town and he goes, um, he's trying to be nice, you know. But he made the worst suggestion ever possible. He goes, how about after the salah, I get up, I grab the mic and I say, well, you know, Sheikh traveled from far and he left family behind. So uh, if we could all just, you know, whatever's in your pocket, take it out. I'm like, you just made me just some kind of street beggar. <laughs> like, this brother is cut off and he has no house and no place to stay. <laughs> so everybody, please, whatever pounds or uh, <laughs> changes in your pocket, take it. Like, what are so you how doing? how much did you make that day? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>